everybody. Happy Wednesday. I am back. I feel like the semi-annual sale buzz for Bath & Body Works is getting bigger and bigger. A lot of people are now getting their hands on Cotton Candy Clouds, Bubblegum Pop, Orange Vanilla Twist, and the Cinnamon um, Donut One at Buy 3 Get 1. People are buying them. So Again, I feel like these scents are going to be selling really fast. Now, the question is, are we going to be able to get online tomorrow evening? We shall see. I did get in the mail today. Check it out. I did get a coupon. Super excited about that. Um, the coupon is 10 off a $40 purchase usually around semi-annual sale. There's a lot of these coupons floating around. This year, they're a little bit harder to come by, but keep an eye on your mailbox in case you get one. I was actually impressed. Sometimes my husband gets one. Sometimes my mother gets one. Sometimes I get one. Sometimes all three of us get one. I haven't gotten coupons lately, but I did get one of these that was addressed to me. So I was like, woohoo, I got a 10 off 40 coupon, which is a really good deal because the prices are low anyway. So that 10 off coupon um, really makes a big difference. So I want to talk about cotton candy clouds tonight. This one came back from last year. There's a little bit of story around cotton candy clouds because cotton candy clouds is actually boardwalk taffy in the pink bottle. Then last year, what they did is they released it in this collection, which is super pretty, um, the tie-dye collection, which had the pink, pink tie-dye, which was that pink lady apple scent, and then the other one was Endless Weekend in the blue. That one might still be available online. They kind of re-released that one a little bit. I did like the purple top on this one. I thought it was pretty. Um, the scent notes are exactly the same from last year, it smells identical. So this is definitely um, a repackage. The scent notes are sponge sugar, pink berries, and whipped vanilla. This is clearly a very popular scent for Bath & Body Works because they brought it back now um, a couple of years in a row. I know a lot of us were worried that we would never see uh, Boardwalk Taffy again. <laughs> and here they brought Boardwalk Taffy back in the pink bottle um, for a semi-annual sale, and then they repackaged it in the pretty purple. I actually kind of like um, the purple packaging a little bit better. I like both of them. I like last year's tie-dye collection, and I like this year's because um, it's cute. It's literally um, cotton candy clouds. I like the purple. It just is really pretty this year. So what this one smells like is a very tart, sweet kind of berry scent. It's more sweet to me, um, but there's a little bit of a tartness in there. I mean, um, it's not full on all sweet in my opinion. It's almost like a very sugary um, cotton candy, which that's what it is. It's cotton candy clouds, <laughs> but it is. It's like they kind of mixed maybe a little bit of strawberry, a little bit of raspberry, a little bit of blueberry. I don't know. There's all kinds of berries mixed in. It's funny because they call them um, pink berries, but I don't know. I just think it's a generic berry. Um, I think it's more of like a like strawberry raspberry than blueberry, but to me it just smells like a mishmash of berries. It's just like berry <laughs> all over the place, and they're kind of sweet, and they're kind of tart. Um, you do get the spun sugar as a really dominant note, I don't get as much of the vanilla in this one. I feel like whipped vanilla is a little bit of a confusing scent in Cat and Candy Clouds because to me it's all like um, berries and sugar as opposed to having like a vanilla element in there. I'm really hoping that the orange vanilla twist is actually a little bit more vanilla. You do get a little bit of vanilla on the dry down, but it's not super, it's not super strong. And of course, the shower gel is even more like cotton candy, fruity, um, sugary than the mist. Because for some reason in the shower gel, the, the fruit always comes out more in the shower gel. Um, I was able to pick up the lotion yesterday. It's funny because I said I wasn't going to buy any more lotions, but this is what they had available. So I'm like, bring it on. Give me the lotion. 
I like the packaging. It's like a mirror. It's kind of pretty. And there's like, look at the top there. There's like kind of a, um, a half circle up there. I don't know. It's just really cute. I like the lotion. I've always liked the lotion in um, Cotton Candy Clouds. I think it's nice. It just literally smells like cotton candy sugary. If you're new to Bath and Body Works and you've not experienced Cotton Candy Clouds, you're going to want to get your hands on this one, definitely. But like I said, I feel like the buzz is big this year, you guys. I feel like there's definitely a lot of people who are wanting to get their hands on this fun pair of collection. So when you see it, I recommend buying it because who knows how long this is going to be around. And then definitely check your mailbox. Hopefully you get your coupon. I find it interesting that the start date, June 13th, they must have really um, had a big meeting about this somewhere to move this up to Saturday. Um, I think what they're just wanting to do is get traffic into the stores because there's a lot going on for semi-annual sale. We're going to be going over everything as soon as I figure out um, when online is going to start. I'll do a big day one video. We're going to be having a lot of fun for the next couple of weeks of semi-annual sale. And then, of course, I'll be, you know, interspersing some fall scents in this. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think about Cotton Candy Clouds. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.